The Senate will come to order. of bills. Final passage. Will the clerk please read the title to Senate Bill 3. Senate Bill 3 by Senator Sullivan and Representative Froelich and Duran concerning the authority of the Colorado Bureau of Investigation to investigate illegal activity involving firearms and connection therewith making an appropriation. Senator Sullivan. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. I move uh, Senate Bill 003 on third reading and ask for an aye vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Minority Leader. Mr. President, I will be very, very brief. We had an extended conversation on Senate Bill 3 the other day. I think we called out a number of reasons why this is perhaps not the best policy. We offered up some opportunities to make it better policy with which we might have been able to come to agreement. But as it stands, as it's moving forward, I have no choice, and I believe many of us should look at it carefully and consider seriously the no vote I will be casting. Thank you, Mr. President. Will the clerk please add Senator Van Winkle to the roll? The motion is the passage of Senate Bill 3. Are there any no votes? S Senators Van Winkle, Will, Members, we are going to take this from the top, but we do need the motion to be withdrawn before it can be remade. And I will not recognize Minority Leader Lundin to speak again. The Senate will stand in a brief recess. The Senate will come to order. Senator Sullivan. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. I withdraw my previous motion. Previous motion has been withdrawn. Will the clerk please add Senator Baisley to the roll? Senator Sullivan. Um, thank you. Thank you, um, Mr. President. I move um, Senate Bill 24003 on third reading and ask for an aye vote. The motion is the passage of Senate Bill 3. Are there any no votes? Senators Van Winkle, Will, Baisley, Rich, Minority Leader Lundeen, 
Smallwood, Kirkmeyer, Pelton B, Pelton R, Simpson. With a vote of 21 ayes, 10 noes, zero absent, four excused, the Senate Bill 3 is passed. Co-sponsors, Senators, Hansen, Mollica, Exum, Gonzalez, Bridges, Aquez Lewis, Michelson Janay, Cutter, Marchman, Zenzinger, Henriksen, Kolker, Majority Leader Rodriguez, Winter, Fields. Please add the president. Will the clerk please read the title to Senate Bill 150. Senate Bill 150 by Senator Cutter and Representative Froelich concerning requirements for the processing of municipal solid waste in the state. Senator Cutter. Thank you, Mr. President. I move Senate Bill 150 as amended for third reading on third reading and final passage. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the motion is the passage of Senate Bill 150. Are there any no votes? Senators, Van Winkle, Will, Baisley, Rich, Minority Leader Lundeen, Smallwood, Kirkmeyer, Pelton B, Pelton R, Simpson. With a vote of 21 ayes, 10 noes, 0 absent, 4 excused, Senate Bill 150 is passed. Co-sponsors. Senators Winter, Fields, Hakez Lewis, Priola, Gonzalez, we are on co-sponsors for Senate Bill 150. Will the clerk please read the title to Senate Bill 1. Senate Bill 1 by Senators Michelson, Janay, and Cutter and Representatives Brown and Rutnell concerning continuation of the Youth Mental Health Services Program and in connection therewith making an appropriation. Senator Michelson, Janay. Thank you, Mr. President. I move Senate Bill 1 as amended and, and ask for a favorable vote. Yes. Is there any discussion? See none. The motion is the passage of Senate Bill 1. Are there any no votes? Senators Van Winkle, Baisley, Rich, Smallwood, Minority Leader Lundeen, Pelton R. With a vote of 25 ayes, 6 noes, 0 absent, 4 excused. Senate Bill 1 is passed. Co-sponsors. Senators Hansen, Henriksen, Roberts, Mollica, Exum, Gonzalez, Zenzinger, Bridges, Sullivan, Jaquez Lewis, Marchman, Kolker, Majority Leader Rodriguez, Winter, Priola. Please add the president. Will the clerk please read the title to Senate Bill 20. 
Senate Bill 20 by Senator Roberts and Representatives Linstead and Puglesi concerning authorization for certain persons licensed to sell alcohol beverages at retail to sell alcohol beverages for consumption off the licensed premises. Senator Roberts. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we move for Senate Bill 20 on third reading and final passage. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the motion is the passage of Senate Bill 20. Are there any no votes? Senators Priola, Majority Leader Rodriguez. With a vote of 29 ayes, two noes, zero absent, four excused, Senate Bill 20 is passed. Co sponsors Senators Mollica, Van Winkle, Will, Baisley, Minority Leader Lundin, Pelton B, Pelton R, Kirkmeyer, Zenzinger. Bridges, Sullivan, Haquez Lewis, Marchman, Fields. Please add the president. Will the clerk please read the title to Senate Bill 65. Senate Bill 65 by Senators Hansen and Fields and Representatives Froelich and Ortiz concerning the use of mobile electronic devices when driving a motor vehicle and in connection therewith making an appropriation. Senator Hansen. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the passage of Senate Bill 65 on third reading. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the motion is the passage of Senate Bill 65. Are there any no votes? Senators Ben Winkle, Will, Baisley. Minority Leader Lundin, Smallwood, Pelton R. I saw personal responsibility, but it sounds like a hit. Gonzalez, <laughs> Zenzinger. If only that person. Kirkmeyer, Majority Leader Rodriguez, Jaquez Lewis. With a vote of 20 ayes, 11 noes, 0 absent, 4 excused, Senate Bill 65 is passed. <laughs> Co-sponsors, Senators Roberts, Mollica, Exum, Colker, Bridges, Sullivan, Cutter, Michelson Janay, Henriksen, Marchman, Please add the president. Good work. Will the clerk please read the title to Senate Bill 14. Senate Bill 14 by Senator Hansen and Representative McLaughlin concerning authorization for granting a high school diploma endorsement related to climate literacy and in connection therewith making an appropriation. Senator Hansen. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the passage of Senate Bill 14 on third reading. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the motion is the passage of Senate Bill 14. Are there any no votes? Senators Van Winkle, Will, Baisley, Rich, Minority Leader Lundin, Kirkmeyer, Smallwood, Pelton R. I didn't see you. If you could reach a little higher, I might, I might be able to see. Uh, oh, Pelton B. With a vote of 22 ayes, 9 noes, 0 absent, 4 excused, Senate Bill 14 is passed. Co-sponsors, Senators, Winter, Marchman, Don't you want to co this? Exum, Zenzinger, Bridges, Sullivan, Akez Lewis, Cutter, Michael Sinjane, no vote and co Priola, Fields, quarters of who wore it better? 
Will the clerk please read the title to Senate Bill 19. Senate Bill 19 by Senator Smallwood and Colker and Representative V. Hill concerning remuneration exempt identifying placards and in connection therewith making an appropriation. Senator Smallwood. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, on behalf of my less than enthusiastic co-prime sponsor and myself, we move Senate Bill 19 on third reading and final passage and ask for your eye vote. Anything to add, Senator Colker? No. <laughs> Is there any discussion? <laughs> Seeing none, the motion is the passage of Senate Bill 19. Are there any no votes? Senator Colker, would you like to be a no vote? <laughs> With a vote of 31 ayes, zero no, zero absent, four excuse, Senate Bill 19 is passed. Co sponsors. Marchman, Fields, Priola, Gonzalez. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. President. Pursuant to Senate Rule 21C, I move the Senate grant leave to the Joint Budget Committee to meet while Senate is in session. You have heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, no? no? The ayes have it, and the motion is adopted. Joint Budget Committee has been granted leave by the Senate. General Orders, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Pursuant to Senate Rule 21C, I move the Senate grant leave to the Property Tax Commission Committee to meet while the Senate is in session. You have heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, no? The ayes have it, and the motion is adopted. Would anybody else like to leave? Can the Senate grant leave to the Senate? General orders. Second reading of bills. Consent calendar. Never mind. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Move that the Senate take up all the bills on the special order, second reading of bills, consent out calendar, which has been distributed at the hour of 1227. The motion is that the Senate take up House Bill 1210, Senate Bill 10, Senate Bill 18, and House Bill 1041 on special orders, consent calendar, at the hour of 12.27 p.m. This does require a two-thirds vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion is adopted. The Senate will now take up House Bill 1012, Senate Bills 10 and 18, and House Bill 1041 at the hour of 12.27 p.m. Special order, second reading of bills, consent calendar, Senator Mullica. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the Senate resolve itself into the Committee of the Whole for consideration of special order, second reading of a bills, consent calendar. You have heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. 
Opposed, no. Motion is adopted. The Senate will resolve itself into the Committee of the Whole for the consideration of the special order, second reading of bills, consent calendar, and Senator Mullica will take the chair. The committee will come to order and the coat rule is relaxed. Will the clerk please read the title of all the bills on the special order second reading of bills consent calendar. House Bill 1012 by Representatives Morrow and Basnecker and Senator Zenzinger and Simpson concerning the operational efficiency of the Front Range Passenger Rail District. Senate Bill 10 by Senators Janal and Will and Representatives Rand and Hartsook concerning the adoption of the Dentist and Dental Hygienist Compact. Senate Bill 18 by Senators Simpson and Michael Sinjane and Rep Representatives Amable and Winter concerning the enactment of the Physician Assistant Licensure Compact. House Bill 1041 by Representatives Kipp and Taggart and Senators Bridges and Van Winkle concerning the streamlining of processes for filing sales and use tax returns and in connection therewith making an appropriation. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move for the passage of all the bills on special orders, second reading of bills consent calendar, which includes House Bill 1012 and the Transportation Energy Report, Senate Bill 10, the Health and Human Services Report and the Appropriations Report, Senate Bill 18, the Health and Human Services Report and the Appropriations Report, and House Bill 1041. Is there any discussion on the committee reports? Seeing none, the motion before the body is the adoption of all the committee reports on the special order, second reading of a bill's consent calendar. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. The ayes have it, and the committee reports are adopted. Is there any discussion on any of the bills on the consent calendar? Seeing none, the motion before the body is the adoption of all the bills on the special order, second reading of bills, consent calendar. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed, no. The ayes have it, and the bills are adopted. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move the committee rise and report. The motion is for the committee to rise and report. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed, no. The ayes have it, and the motion is adopted. The committee will rise and report. The Senate will come to order. Senator Mullica. Thank you, Mr. President. The committee has had a number of bills under consideration. Will the clerk please read the report? 
March 15, 2024, Mr. President, your committee of the whole begs leave to report it as had under consideration the following attached bills being the second reading thereof and makes the following recommendations thereon. Senate Bill 10 is amended, Senate Bill 18 is amended, passed on second reading and ordered in gross and placed on the calendar for third reading and final passage. House Bill 1012 is amended, House Bill 1041, passed on second reading and ordered revised and placed on the calendar for third reading and final passage. Senator Mullica. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the report. The motion is the adoption of the Committee of the Whole Report. Are there any no votes? With a vote of 31 ayes, 0 no, 0 absent, 4 excused, Committee of the Whole Report is adopted. <laughs> Senate Bill 10 is amended, Senate Bill 18 is amended, passed in second reading order in gross and placed on the calendar for third reading and final passage. House Bill 1012 is amended, House Bill 1041 passed. On second reading order, revised and placed on the calendar for third reading and final passage. General order, second reading of bills, Senator Mullica. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the Senate resolve itself into the Committee of the Whole for the consideration of general orders, second reading of bills. You have heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion is adopted. The Senate will resolve itself into the Committee of the Whole for the consideration of the general order, second reading of bills, and Senator Mullica will take the chair. Committee will come to order and the coat rule is relaxed. Will the clerk please read the title to House Bill 1098? House Bill 1098 by Representatives Mabry and Duran and Senators Gonzalez and Henriksen concerning protections for residential tenants and in connection therewith requiring cause for the eviction of a residential tenant. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move to lay over House Bill 1098 until Monday, March the 18th. That is a proper motion. House Bill 1098 will be laid over till Monday. March 18th. Will the clerk please read the title to House Bill 1103. House Bill 1103 by Representatives Amable and Herod and Senators Gonzalez and Buckner concerning prohibitions on the official use of the term excited delirium. Senator Gonzalez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move House Bill 24-1103 and ask for an I vote. Is there any further discussion on House Bill 1103? Seeing none, the question before us is the passage of House Bill 1103. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed, no. The ayes, ha the ayes have it, and House Bill 1103 is adopted. Will the clerk please read the title to House Bill 1291. House Bill 1291 by Representatives English and Joseph and Senators Roberts and Gardner concerning a licensed legal paraprofessional's authority to represent individuals in certain domestic relations matter. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move to lay over House Bill 1291 until Tuesday, March the 19th. House Bill 1291 will be laid over until Tuesday, March 19th. Will the clerk please read the title to Senate Bill 11? Take a vote. Senate Bill 11 by Senator Winter and Representatives Duran and Wilford concerning measures to increase protection from harm caused through the use of technology. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move that we lay over Senate Bill 
Senate Bill 11 to Wednesday, March the 20th. Senate Bill 11 will be laid over to Wednesday, March the 20th. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed, no. Senate Bill 11 will be laid over until March 20th. Thank you. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move the committee to rise and report. The motion before us is for the committee to rise and report. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed, no. The committee will rise and report. The Senate will come to order. Senator Mullica. Thank you, Mr. President. The committee has met and had a number of bills under consideration. Will the clerk please read the report? March 15, 2024, Mr. President, your committee of the whole begs leave to report has had under consideration the following attached bills being the second reading thereof and makes the following recommendations thereon. House Bill 1103 passed on second reading and ordered revised and placed on the calendar for third reading and final passage. House Bill 1098 laid over until March 18, 2024 and retaining its place on the calendar. House Bill 1291 laid over until March 19, 2024 and retaining its place on the calendar. Senate Bill 11 laid over until March 2024 and retaining its place on the calendar. Senator Mullica. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the report. The motion is the adoption of the Committee of the Whole Report. Are there any no votes? Senators Van Winkle, Will, Baisley, Minority Leader Lundeen, Rich, Smallwood, Pelton B, Pelton R, Simpson. With a vote of 22 ayes, 9 noes, 0 absent, 4 excused, the Committee of the Whole Report is adopted. House Bill 1103 passed on second reading order revised and placed on the calendar for third reading final passage. House Bill 1098 laid, laid over until March 18th and retaining its place on the calendar. House Bill 1291 laid over until March 19th and retaining its place on the calendar. Senate Bill 11 laid over until March 20th and retaining its place on the calendar. Committee reports. March 15, 2024. Committee on Appropriations, after consideration on the merits, the committee recommends the following. Senate Bill 100 be amended as follows, and is so amended to be referred to the Committee of the Whole with favorable recommendation. Senate Bill 111 be referred to the Committee of the Whole with favorable recommendation. House Bill 1041 be referred to the Committee of the Whole with favorable recommendation, with the recommendation that it be placed on the consent calendar. Senate Bill 53 be amended as follows, and is so amended to be referred to the Committee of the Whole with favorable recommendation. Senate Bill 18 be amended as follows, and so amended be referred to the Committee of the Whole with favorable recommendation and with recommendation to be placed on the consent calendar. Senate Bill 10 be amended as follows, and so amended be referred to the Committee of the Whole with favorable recommendation and with recommendation to be placed on the consent calendar. Senate Bill 8 be amended as follows, and so amended be referred to the Committee of the Whole with favorable recommendation. Consideration of resolutions. Will the clerk please read the title of Senate Joint Resolution 11. Senate Joint Resolution 11 by Senator Baisley and Representatives Valdez and Soper concerning the recognition of Colorado's globally competitive quantum technology industry. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to lay over Senate Joint Resolution 11 to Thursday, March the 28th. The motion is to lay over Senate Joint Resolution 11 to Thursday, March 28th. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Senate Joint Resolution 11 will lay over until Thursday, March 28th. Consideration of governor's appointments, consent calendar. Will the clerk please read the appointment listed on the consent calendar? Member of the Board of Trustees for Fort Lewis College, effective January 1, 2024, for term expiring December 31, 2027, Meredith Maple of Durango, Colorado, to serve as a Republican reappointed. Majority Leader Rodriguez. 
Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the passage of the appointment on the consideration of governor's appointments consent calendar, which is Meredith Maple of Durango for the Board of Trustees for Fort Lewis College. Is there any discussion? The motion is the confirmation of the appointment on the consent calendar. Are there any no votes? With 31 ayes, zero no, zero absent, four excused, the appointment is confirmed. Introduction of bills. House Bill 1107 by Representatives Lindstedt and Byrd and Senators Bridges and Winter concerning judicial review of a local land use decision. Judiciary. House Bill 1150 by Representatives Garcia and Parenti and Senator Henriksen concerning false slates of presidential electors. State Veterans Military Affairs. House Bill 1174 by Representatives Duran and Snyder and Senator Malika concerning permits to carry a concealed handgun and a connection therewith establishing standards for concealed handgun training classes. State Veterans Military Affairs. House Bill 1222 by Representatives Puglesi and McLaughlin and Senator Rich concerning updating terminology that refers to entities that administer human services programs. Health and Human Services. House Bill 1233 by Representatives Wilson and Snyder and Senators Roberts and Gardner concerning modifications to certain procedural requirements with which a unit owner's association must comply when seeking payment of delinquent amounts owed by a unit owner. Local Government and Housing. House Bill 1251 by Representative Snyder and Mabry and Senator Gonzalez concerning the continuation of functions related to the regulation of debt management service providers and in connection therewith implementing the recommendations in the 2023 Sunset Report by the Department of Regulatory Agencies. Judiciary. House Bill 1252 by Representatives Vahil and Bradfield and Senator Michelson Janay concerning the continuation of the Suicide Prevention Commission. Health and Human Services. House Bill 1259 by Representatives Brown and Weissman and Senator Cutter concerning price gouging and housing rental prices during a declared disaster. Local government housing. Message from the House. Message from the House. March 13, 2024, Mr. President, the House has postponed indefinitely Senate Bill 46. The bill is returned herewith. Introduction of resolutions. Senate Joint Resolution 15 by Senators Winter and Kirkmeyer and Representatives Ricks and Velasco concerning the designation of March 2024 as Women's History Month in Colorado and in connection therewith acknowledging the countless contributions women have made in history and to contemporary society. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that SJR 015 lay over until Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. The motion is to lay over Senate Joint Resolution 15 to Tuesday, March 19th. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Senate Joint Resolution 15 will lay over until Tuesday, March 19th. <laughs> Announcements. Senator Pell. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I ask for a moment of personal privilege. Granted. Thank you. So, members, tomorrow is the big day that we all remember four years ago. It first started was uh, Meet In Day. Well, it started as Meet Out Day, and now it's Meet In Day. And every year, we are so fortunate to celebrate Meet In Day in Logan County, and we have taken it upon ourselves, and actually I'm going to be honoring a family today, um, that actually takes it upon themselves to raise money to help our community for nonprofits and for people in need. Um, this year, we're raising money for a young man who has what's called Swiss cheese heart, and, it's, uh, and he's got several holes in his heart, and he's, he's having to go through life that way. So this year, <clears throat> the Colorado State Senate um, convened, or I'm sorry, the hereby extends our warmest graduations and accommodation to the Santa Maso and Van Berg families. The Colorado State Senate recognized the Santa Maso and Van Berg families for their service to their community. As an organization of the annual meet in benefit, the Santa Maso and Van Berg families, with the help of their community, have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for charitable organizations and community members in need. From helping 4-H, FFA, students, and supporting their cancer-stricken neighbors, the Santa Maso and Van Berg families have demonstrated what it means to give while never asking for nothing in return. Their legacy of service and willingness to help anyone they find in need of help has left an indelible impact on Colorado's agriculture and rural communities. 
The Santa Masso and Van Berg families represent the best of rural Colorado. The Colorado State Senate pays tribute to the Santa Masso and Van Berg families and thanks them for their service on behalf of their local communities and the people of Colorado. Signed by President Steve Finberg on request of Byron H. Pelton. I would like to also send out a warm invitation to anybody in the room that would like to come out to um, Sterling tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Logan County Fairgrounds. We're having our annual meet-in day. Um, there's going to be around anywhere between 1,500 people and 3,000 people that show up for that. It's a big deal. We have a great deal. we have a great time, and we raise quite a bit of money for all our charitable organizations, veterans, and also the young man who has Swiss cheese heart. So, thank you, and thank you, Mr. President. Senator Pelton. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, mine is an announcement. I have a meet-in day tomorrow also in Hugo at the Lincoln County Fairgrounds. So if you guys want to come out and drive for an hour and a half and get to Hugo, eat some good meat, come on out. Senator Will. Thank you, Mr. President. Can I have a moment of personal privilege? Granted. Thank you. So it is uh, Perry Will Friday, and as I promised uh, a few weeks back that I would offer uh, Perry's pearls, and uh, I talk to a lot of the young people that work around the Capitol here, so, and they've asked me that uh, I give them little pearls of wisdom, and so here's one for Friday, but uh, my pearl for today is if, you, uh, if you're lucky enough to find a way of life you love, you have to find the courage to live it. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Sullivan. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. May I have a moment of personal privilege? Granted. Um, thank you. Uh, today is the 608th Friday since my son Alex was murdered. I'm celebrating his 27th birthday on July 20th, 2012 in the Aurora Theater Massacre. I, I was trying to um, come up with uh, what to talk about today. I had two different ones, ones that makes me really angry and the other one that makes me incredibly sad. So I'll share the sad one with you. Um, Sunday is uh, St. Patrick's Day, and I spent a lot of time um, teaching Alex about the Irish and who they were. And there was, there was a period of time where um, he, he seemed to be wearing a Kelly Green shirt um, almost every single day um, for a year. And on, on one St. Patrick's Day, um, I worked nights, so we got to drink a little bit earlier on, on St. Patrick's Day. Um, and um, I was in Shabin's uh, pub that's at um, Iliff and Chambers, and uh, my wife and uh, daughter were with me, and Alex was going to come and meet us. And we were sitting in there, and all of a sudden the door opened, and <laughs> in came a six-foot-five... 300 pound leprechaun and he was completely dressed in all the regalia with the hat and everything and the three of us sat there at the bar and just looked at him and he walked over and just kind of shrugged his shoulders like what 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 <laughs> and and none of us took a picture because I didn't know I was supposed to take a picture I didn't know that there wasn't going to be enough time to take more pictures. So, while I wish you all a very happy St. Patrick's Day, make sure you continue to take pictures. Further announcements? Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the Senate adjourn until 10 a.m. Monday, March 18th, 2024. You have heard the motion. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. The ayes have it, and the Senate will adjourn until 10 a.m. on Monday, March 18th, 2024.